everybody, Jason here of Ghostbusters News, and last month we told you all about these, a custom set of LEGO Ghostbusters Afterlife figures. Now maybe I shouldn't call them Ghostbusters figures, because you can see on the packaging these are clearly Ghost Smashers figures. No doubt a clever way to try and skirt tell around copyright. Now this highly limited line of customs, they were made by LEGO enthusiast Cut the Craggle. Right now you are taking a look at his Instagram page, and I'd recommend giving him a follow, a link is down below in the description. As from what we hear, more LEGO figures are on the way, so be on the lookout. Now clearly, I took the plunge and I bought these figures, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at today, as we give you both an unboxing and a review. Now let's first take a look at this figure of Phoebe Spangler, or as the packaging calls her, Flight Suit Junior. We've got a great image of Phoebe on the left hand side. As well, you can clearly see the figure inside the packaging. Turning the figure around here, you'll see there's a bio for Flight Suit Jr. We've also got this great image of the figure on the left hand side. And then taking a look a little further down, you're gonna see that this figure was limited to only 25 pieces. I got number two out of 25. As well, Cut the Craggle also signed the back. Now, one thing I really love about the packaging here is it's actually resealable. Uh, you don't have to tear it apart to get out the figure. It just uh, pops open right at the top here. So if I want to have Phoebe on display with all my other Lego figures, I can easily do so. And then let's say a couple weeks down the road, I want to have Phoebe back on card and, you know, on display in the box. You just put a little bit of pressure, snaps back into place, and there we go. But once again, we're doing a review today, so I'm going to tear into this. Oh, she is so freaking cute. So we got a proton back here. We're going to put that on in here in a second. But first, let's take a look at just the minifigure here. Once again, Phoebe Spangler, or as the packaging calls her, Flight Suit Junior. And I love the hair piece they chose for Phoebe here. The face looks great. Of course, she is rocking the glasses. She also has a big smile. And then taking a look a bit further down, you can see she is wearing the Spangler Flight Suit. And this is a total unique print job. You can see her undershirt is red. And you may also notice the shoulder straps have been kind of given like a distressed look. Turning Phoebe around to the side, you're gonna notice we do have printing on the arm with the Ghostbusters logo. And then looking a bit further down, you have no doubt my favorite detail of this figure. As her pant legs are way too big for, they're rolled up at the very bottom and they're hanging over those red shoes. And then taking a look at the back of Phoebe, you're gonna see some additional print work, which includes the shoulder straps, military belt, and waist belt. Oh, Phoebe also does come with an alternate face. All you gotta do, I mean, if you play with Lego figures before, you know what you gotta do. Just take the hair off and move the head around, and there you go. Phoebe right now, you can see she is angry. And between the two, I don't know which one I like better. Do I like Happy Phoebe, Angry Phoebe? Which one am I gonna have on display? Comment down below and let me know which one would you put on display in your Ghostbusters collection. Now cut the craggle, he did not end it there because he also included a proton pack in particular, a Spangler Proton Pack. And I say a Spangler Proton Pack because this one is slightly different than the ones we've actually seen released officially from LEGO. It has a small little green piece of LEGO instead of the red. This is to help simulate the wrapping around the wand's handle seen in Ghostbusters Afterlife. As well, the hose that connects the wand to the Proton Pack is brown instead of black. Turning the Phoebe around to the back here, at first this may look pretty much the same as to what we've seen in the past, however, there is a very subtle difference here, as now we have the addition of small little rust marks. In fact, let's go ahead and bring in one of the official LEGO Ghostbusters figures to do a quick comparison. As evident, the line work on the custom figure is a bit thicker, but once again, the real difference between these two are those small little rust marks. So that was Phoebe Spangler, or Flight Suit Jr. Coming up next, we've got ourselves the Flat Top Destructor, otherwise known as Gozer the Gozerian. Now packaging for all these figures is very much the same. We've got that great shot of Gozer on the left-hand side. You can see the actual minifigure on the right. Taking a look at the back, we've got Gozer's bio. Much like Phoebe, there was only 25 of these figures made, and once again, I got two out of 25. And then we're also gonna find that signature from Cut the Craggle. Now taking the Destructor out of the packaging, this looks great. There is so much small little detail here. I love the shadowing, the cheek structure in the face. I think that looks great. But really the highlight is the print job on the chest, on the legs, on the arms. And I'm amazed here that we not only got front printing on the legs, but turning goes around to the side. As I've said, we have got arm printing and then also side printing on the legs. We've got all the small like little line work, these circular orbs. And of course, Cut the Craggle did not cut any corners. We also have printing found on the back of Gozer. As well, much like that Phoebe Spangler, Gozer does come with two different faces, one with a closed mouth and one with an open mouth. Now, when it comes to the last minifigure, we have got the ghostly grandfather, otherwise known as Dr. Egon Spangler. And this is the one I'm sure a lot of you out there, you wanna see the most. Once again, the packaging, it is standard. We got the image of Egon on the left. His figure also clearly visible. 
And then turning around to the back, we've got his bio, and then much like Phoebe and Gozer, this is figure two out of 25. And here he is, the ghost version, the spectral version of Dr. Egon Spengler. He's got the same hairpiece as the standard Egon. However, it has been painted because Lego, they do not make that piece in white. When it comes to detail on the face, we've got the gray eyebrows, the beard. There's also some wrinkles on the forehead and some line work in and around the eyes, you know, to show that Egon did age. And then looking a bit further down, we've got the custom printing to mimic the flight suit. Similar to Phoebe turning around to the side, you're gonna see we have the No Ghost logo on the arm. And then taking a look at his backside, there's really no reason to because there is no printing there whatsoever. As well, unlike Phoebe and Gozer, Egon only has one face, which is him just with a very slight smile. So that just about does it for a look at these brand new custom Lego figures. Once again, the Ghost Smashers. As I've already said countless times in this video, these figures, they were made by Cut the Craggle. From everything I've been told, there is more figures on the way. I mean, he's already shown plans for Mr. Gruberson. I would expect Podcast is next. Maybe a Callie, maybe an Evo Shandor. So certainly follow Cut the Craggle over on Instagram and be sure to keep checking out GhostbustersNews.com because when more figures are announced, we're of course gonna let you know. That's all I've got for you here right now. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. We have a link to that down below in the description. And I'll see everybody right back here next time.